It is a little bit chilly here tonight, but we got a baseball game to watch between the Blue Jays and the Yankees. The Yankees lost three nothing yesterday in the home opener. First time they've been shut out in a home opener since 1967. That was against the Red Sox, so they'll try to bounce back today. Here comes Clark Schmidt, and he is taking his warm-up pitches. The last time out, which was his first start. Um, pitch pretty well till that last inning. So the 3 2 is lying down the right field line, dropping and fair. And Springer makes the turn and he's on his way to second with a leadoff double for the second game in a row. The Blue Jays have not scored a run against a traditional starting pitcher in 36 and two thirds innings. Yep. Broke the bat, soft ground ball up the middle. Volpe fields and will get Guerrero as Springer moves to third. One two swing and a miss big strikeout for Schmidt two away and the three two is grounded up the middle Volpe the shortstop on to first in time and for the second game in a row the leadoff double by George Springer is stranded Kevin Gosman has really pitched well in this ballpark last April no walks 11 strikeouts seven innings and three hit ball when he shut out the Yankees Labor Torres hitting 219 on the season. And now he swings and lifts a fly ball to left. Not deep. In comes Varsho. One down. And here's Juan Soto. 3-2. There's a walk. Soto is on with one of his specialties. Here's Aaron Judge. High fly ball. Deep left field. Varsho back. Turning. Looking. See ya. A two-run home run for Judge. Just like that, the Yankees are up 2-0. I tell you what, I hope this is many to come because there's a lot of excitement watching Soto and Judge hit back to back. So two down, the Judge homer making it two to nothing Yankees, and here's John Carlos Stanton. Stanton goes the other way in deep track, wall leaps. See ya, a home run for Stanton, and the Yankees lead three nothing. Now I think they're going to look at that. That ball looks like it was clearly out of the ballpark. I don't know. I think it hit the top of the wall after it hit the glove. But that's not fan interference because that ball is out of the ballpark. The call in the field stands. It is a home run. So number two on the season for John Carlos Stanton as Judge and Stanton both go deep here in the bottom of the first. Well the Yankees give Clark Schmidt three runs in the bottom of the first inning. Swing and a miss. Cutter tying it up. Here is Clement. Cracked into left center field on the run is Verdugo. He's not going to get there. It splits the outfielders. It's going to roll to the wall. And Clement will stop at second with a double. Second double for the Blue Jays. Swing and a miss. Varsho down on strikes. Third strikeout for Schmidt. So two down. Catcher Brian Servin gets his first at bat of the night. Grounded to third. Backhanded by Cabrera. The long throw is in time. Wow, what a throw. I didn't know he could throw it that far. He was way off in foul territory and made a great throw to Rizzo. Beginning with a guy who is on an absolute tear to start the season in shortstop Anthony Volpe, but he's 0 for 9 with seven strikeouts in his career against Gosman. 2 2. Fastball down the middle, and that's strike three caught. I think Volpe is saying maybe there was catcher's interference, and now the Yankees are having a look. You know, if the catcher's already received the ball, what do we do about this? I think I, I think it would be catcher's interference. After review, the call on the field is overturned. There's catcher's interference. New York will retain their challenge. Well, good challenge by Boone and his staff, and now John Schneider wants an explanation, but it was clear he hit the glove. Runner goes. There's a strike. Throw to second. Not in time. Stolen base for Volpe. The three-one is inside. Almost hit him. So he's on at first. The Yanks have two on and no one out. Here is Cabrera. Served into left field. It's a base hit. Volpe rounds third. They're going to hold him up right there. Varsho comes up throwing. And all the way to serving. So the Yankees have the bases loaded. Nobody out. Remember, Gosman had shoulder fatigue. Didn't throw a lot in spring training. And uh, you can see there's been a drop in velocity. Four seamers tonight, just over 90, just under 91. And on Sunday against the Rays, almost 95 miles an hour. So the bases are loaded with nobody out, and it's back around to the top of the order for Glaber Torres, who hit a fly ball to left. Oh, I drive. Left field, deep. Going back, Varsha. Still back on the track at the wall. He makes the play up against the wall. Volpe tags. He scores. Wells goes to third. A long sack fly by Torres, and it is 4 0 Yankees. What could have been? I'm like, mm, that close to a grand slam. Here's Soto, first and third with one man out. Bottom of the second. 
That one gets away. Here comes Wells. The throw home, not in time. Moving to second is Cabrera, and the Yankees lead 5-0. And they say that Wells scored on a pass ball. That serving should have caught that. Swinging on 3-0, and it's a base hit through the right side. Cabrera rounds third. He'll score easily. Soto's first hit in the Bronx, an RBI single, and the Yankees lead 6-0. Well, John Snyder takes the ball from Kevin Gosman. The Yankees very rarely get to him. They did today. Seven games against the Yankees coming in, 1.17 ERA. Double what he's done previously tonight. Yeah, Bo is three for 26. Not used to saying that, no. seeing that. No. This guy has yeah. led the league in hits. Broke his bat, but he's got a base hit to right. Everybody up 90 feet, and the Blue Jays have the bases loaded. So here's Turner trying to get them on the board, down six to nothing here in the third. Line drive, left field, carrying and caught out there by Verdugo. But coming in to score is Kevin Kiermeyer with the first run of the night on the sack fly for Justin Turner. 6 1 Yankees over the Blue Jays going to the top of the fourth. Clement doubling to left center in his first at bat. And he puts good wood on the ball again, sends this one down the left field line, and that's dropping fair. And it's Clement's second double of the game. There's a ground ball to second base. Clement moves to third, one down. And Servant takes a walk after falling behind 0 2. So with the runners on the corners, here's Kevin Kiermeyer, who had an infield hit his first time up. Chops slowly towards second. The Yankees get one, and that's it. It's a fielder's choice by Kiermeyer to get Clement home, and it is 6 to 2. Turner 0 for 1, sack fly as last time up. And finally, Bertrand puts him away with the good ball off the plate away. Again, I think Aaron Boone going to the bullpen or two outs shy, finishing the fifth. Wins don't mean anything for starting pitchers anymore. Wins for teams, that means something. So Schmidt's done. The Yankees lead 6 2. Mitch White still in there on relief of Gosman in the second. A leadoff walk to Judge. Rizzo lined into a double play in the second. He's 0 for 2. Driven deep to right field. Is it fair? It is gone. Inside the foul pole. A two run home run right down the line. It's 8 2 Yanks. Well, Mitch White went four and a third. Now lefty to lefty. Mesa to Soto. No throw. On the ball. Blocked there by Servin. So Torres with a stolen base. So Soto with a walk and an RBI single and a ground out to second. That one's lined into right field. That's going to get in there for a base hit. Torres rounds third. He's coming home. The throw is cut off. It's an RBI single for Soto. And the Yankees lead 9 2. It'll be Guerrero, Bichette, and Turner here in the seventh against Luke Weaver. Guerrero gets one in the air to right. Soto going back and he's going to watch it go. An opposite field home run for Vladimir Guerrero, his first hit of the series, and his second home run of the season. It is now nine to three. Guerrero led off the inning with a home run, make it nine three, and then Bichette double, turn a walk, first and second, with no one out. Here is Vogel back, and this one is clubbed to right field. Soto still going back, and it's off the wall. Bichette around third and getting the wave. Turner to third. It's a double for Vogelback. And it's nine to four. And the first two have reached here in the ninth inning. Ball and two strikes the count as Hamilton sets. And that one's in the hole. And the only play is to second. And they get Vogelback. So a fielder's choice, first and third, one out. And with the tying run still in the on deck circle, it looks like Aaron Boone feels comfortable leaving Hamilton now. Schneider the batter. This one to right. And Soto, a long run back, and can't make the catch. It's an RBI double for Schneider. And it's nine to six. Looking at his hand. And sometimes your fingers can go through the chain link part of it. Yankees go to their closer. So now it's a save situation. Holmes has been near perfect. John Snyder goes to his final piece off the bench. That's Kevin Biggio. Two outs. Yankees up by two. Time run at the plate. Hit shortly at Volpe, and it's past him for a base hit. So a pinch hit single for Biggio. A run scores, and now the Yankee lead is one skinny run. It's 9-8. And here is the dangerous George Springer. Biggio is a tying run at first base. Swing and a miss. Yankees win. They hold on. They take a deep breath, and they win 9-8. Toronto fought their way back, but all smiles now.